I'm three foot six, and I was born without arms and legs. When somebody tells me I can't do something, that's just that fire, that fuel to make sure I can do it. I want to share my story with families that have children born like me. <laughs> Putting a smile on someone's face, can't even explain the feeling, it's just, it's just amazing. My name is Ryan, I'm 40 years old. Uh, I'm a husband, father, and I was born with a disability called congenital limb deficiency that made me born without arms and legs. Do you want hot sauce oh, yes. for yours, Ray? Yes, please. Okay. I'm gonna offer you that. All right, you're better at this than me. I actually, I have arms and legs, but they're much shorter. This is for my cooking show. Yes. Cooking with no hands. The kind of questions I get are always, always range from like, how do you drive? How do you eat? How did you ha how do you have children? And uh, I mean, just a any question you can think of. How do you go to the bathroom? And everybody's like, oh, doesn't that bother you? Isn't that annoying? The hardest thing about living with no arms and legs is that people see me without arms and legs. I don't want you to look at me as someone with no arms and legs. I want you to look at me as my friend, my my colleague, or some really cool some really cool guy that has a sweet sneaker collection. <laughs> Okay, let's start on a different pancake. <laughs> when I was first born, the doctors took me away from my parents. And my mom asked the doctors, like, where's my son at? And they said, there's been a problem and we wanted to talk to you about this before we bring him in here. And she said, no, please bring my son in right away. And they said, well, your son was born without arms and legs and before we give them to you, we want you to know that it's okay if you don't want to keep them. And my mom said, what are you talking about? That's my son, bring me my son now. They said that Ryan will ever, never have a regular job or be able to go to school or drive a wheelchair. He'll never be able to drive a car. He'll never be able to have a family. So when somebody tells me I can't do something, that's just that's just that, that fire, that fuel to make sure I can do it. So, how'd you do, Rye? I was sweating. I met my wife when I was 20 years old. What are you working on? I did this one earlier. Oh, that's sweet. I saw you post that. When I first met Ryan, I didn't see him as being different. We just uh, connected. We just kind of hit it off right away, and, and that was it. My kids are my life. Like everything I do, I do, I do for them. How he moves through life and the way that he was born is so natural for us. We just see him as our dad. He's taught us so many different things that other fathers might not teach us. Can't go around and complain about the little things that other people might be able to. He really changes your outlook on life. Alexa, turn on office. So this is my office where I work at home, work on stuff for social media. Started collecting shoes when I was a kid. Luckily, uh, they don't get dirty because I don't walk on the ground and my feet haven't grown. So I've been able to save a bunch since I was young. A few years ago, I was at work and someone ran up to me and they said, hey, my cousin's wife is having a baby and she, they just found out that she's gonna be born without arms. Would you mind meeting with her and before the baby's born? And if you don't wanna do it, I completely understand. And I said, of course, I would, I would love to. Hey, what's up? Where are you going up this way? Hi! Hey! How are you doing? Hi, guys! We found out about Ryan when I was pregnant. We were so excited to meet his family because there was so much unknown. Say hi! Happy birthday? Can you tell him hi? Come out when you want. Right? Bill! Oh, he's so good! Do you want to go upstairs? And what did you say? <laughs> Gabriella, she just turned two in August, and she was born with no arms and shortened legs. Yeah. 
You gonna get some mama? Nothing seems to stop her. I mean, she she gets around the house as much as anybody else can. She plays with her toys that she has. Alexa! Play, I want to dance with somebody. Hey. Let's build it up. You like this song? Oh, yeah, I it. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Our youngest son, Owen, is three and a half, and he was born with congenital limb differences affecting all four of his limbs. Don't you do it. Don't do it. <laughs> For Owen to even see a role model just like himself. Get it. Every time Ryan's here, you know, it lights up Owen. Here, I'll line this one up. So much fun. Here, pull one right here. Are you gonna knock it over? Can you get it? Knock it over. She's just gonna play something. Whoa. 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 <laughs> get set. set. Go. Go. Who's gonna win? Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I win. Oh, you won. Like when I was when I was younger and Growing up, my parents didn't know anybody that was born like me, so like I, I just love that I'm able to like meet kids that are born like me and maybe teach them a few things that like that I've learned. And Ryan's just an invaluable person to us. And they give me pizza, so it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, Ryan. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Boom. Love you. Love you. Today was amazing. We uh, built some blocks, walls, and we knocked them down. Just like we're gonna do every day in our life, we're gonna face some challenges, we're gonna build them up, and we're gonna knock them down. It was a comfort to meet somebody who was never letting anything stop him. There's a saying, you know, like, failure's not an option. My saying is failure is a must. You can't learn anything in life unless you fail at it. You try and you fail. Say bye. They love you. When I sit back and think about all the adversity I faced and everything that I've had to deal with, I, I am, I'm definitely proud of myself. But, you know, fighting through all those things and, and being who I am today.